So the question was, uh, can you talk about how to connect to God when you've lost your way and you've been in darkness for a long time? So <clears throat> what? how do I reconnect to God when I've been, I've lost my way and I've been in darkness? Well, um, when you've lost your way and your connection to God, the way back to God is um, uh, is to is to is to do the, the easiest way to God, in my view, is just to. Um, it depends how badly you're disconnected. So let's say I've been, there've been times in my life where I've been so disconnected. The only thing I can do is just be in bed. And uh, there's no energy left, no life force left. It feels like I'm I'm di I'm, I'm dying. And uh, so then, um, what I do then is I'll just um, uh, watch. Uh, those times I used to watch Hawkins videos. Uh, you can, if you go to Veritas Pub for about twenty dollars a month, you can watch unlimited amounts of his videos. Um, and uh, that's a great way of, I would just, one way is if you're feeling very low and disconnected, just watch Hawkins videos nonstop or go to 12 step Zoom meetings nonstop. They, they have them going around uh, nonstop uh, all the time. And um, that's one way. Um, the, um, the field of unconditional love, which is the vibration of the 12 step groups, um, they all calibrate approximately unconditional love. Generally, it's a very fast way of shifting negative feelings. So attending those groups or going to those groups and getting help in those groups is a very fast way because you're entraining your vibration to the vibration of the groups. And the group vibration will quickly lift you out of low vibrations into those higher vibrations. And you'll feel more connected to God. Um, you know, reading, reading Hawkins, reading high spiritual literature, prayers, uh, pray to God for a miracle and a shift in your perception. Pray to God to see your disconnection from God in truth. Uh, pray to the Holy Spirit to reveal to me uh, uh, my blocks to reconnecting with God consciousness. Um, so those things, um, just align yourself. Seek holy groups, people, books, uh, music, and immerse yourself in those fields because they'll gradually... As you're around those groups, those people, those books, those audios, those videos, they start to lift your vibration up to those more godly vibrations. They wash out the negativity that you're currently resonating with. So you can do that. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's like the more you stay in connection with those spiritually high vibrations, the more they'll start to lift you out of the lower vibrations. Um, the dark night of the soul. I mean, um, so if you've been connected to God and you lose it, there's usually a very valuable lesson in why. There can be two reasons. Sometimes you don't know, and you're just going through a bad karmic patch that you're paying off some very bad karma. And so you have to go through some heavy, heavy difficulty before it clears. But quite often, um, if you want to know the reason, like um, Hawkins has got a great video on depression, you see. Like, let's say... Um, uh i i'm vain uh you know i think i'm so beautiful and then i suddenly become old i'll become depressed and feel like i've lost my i've lost myself because i'm no longer attractive and young so then um so there's a there's a lesson in that i have to let go of this idea that age or beauty is the illusion so as long as i hold on to that illusion that i have to be young and beautiful to be connected to God and happy, I have to let that false God go. So, when there's a uh, so often with the dark night, with, with the loss of God, something is being highlighted, which is an illusion, uh, a, a falsehood in your consciousness that you're holding on to. It could be I need to be thin to be happy. I need to be young to be happy. I need a, I need my husband to be alive to be happy. I need my I need more money to be happy. And because there's no money, no husband, no, uh, there's an old body here, um, uh, the source of happiness is gone because these were my gods I worshipped and now they're going and now I have despair, a loss of hope. But there's no point in living. I'm an old man. There's no point in living. I'm too ugly. There's no point in living. I have no money. So these type of things, these illusions. So um, you pray to God to show you what it is. Sometimes it could be an unforgiveness. Um, 
you've um, uh, forgive yourself that your life was not the way you wanted it to be. Forgive the world for being the way it is. Um, and then again, the re restoration of the presence of God comes. So earnestly pray to God to reveal to you what it is um, that is in you, that is holding you to darkness, and so that you can return to the light of God. Um, I pray for you. I pray for everyone in darkness, if they seek God, that you find God. Earnestly seek God. Uh, go back to yourself. What has worked in the past? Be honest with yourself. Was there a time when you went to groups where you felt happy and connected to God? Was there a book you read where you felt very happy and connected to God? Um, whatever it is, um, you know, go, go back. Go back to those groups, those books, those people, and immerse yourself, and God will show you the way back to God. Um, and um, uh, the darkness, of, often, not always, if there's something, there's a major illusion you're holding on to. You have to let that go. And then the light will return. It can sometimes just be like things like heavy illnesses and stuff, which you just have to cancel and feel out. And they sometimes take a bit of time to get through. But then even if you join these higher groups, that will help you get through faster. So um, I pray for a miracle for you that it be revealed to you what your blocks are and the pathway to the light back to God.